So now that we've introduced the idea of allotropes, we can look at two of our metals and how they demonstrate this allotropic behaviour. So the first metal that we're going to look at is titanium. And at low temperatures, titanium is actually hexagonal close packed. Now when I refer to low temperatures, I'm actually referring to temperatures below 882 degrees. So at any temperature below 882 degrees, pure titanium will be hexagonal close packed. We've already mentioned how HCP structures tend to be very hard as a result of the layers not being able to slide easily over each other, or more accurately because we only have three slip systems. But when we heat titanium above 882 degrees, it actually turns into a body centre cubic structure. Now body centre cubic structures will be slightly more malleable and ductile than our HCP materials, so if we want to shape and form titanium, then the only way that we can do that is by heating it to above 882 degrees. The interesting thing is that the structure of the material physically changes at that particular temperature. Now an example of another material that exhibits this behaviour is iron, and because steel is primarily iron, we also see this behaviour in our carbon steels. So iron and steel also have two allotropes. They have body centre cubic structure at low temperatures, and they have face centre cubic structure at higher temperatures. Now it's important to point out that these materials aren't changing state, they're not going from solid to liquid, they're still solid, but the atoms of the material rearrange themselves into a different structure. So for titanium, we mentioned that that change occurs at 882 degrees C. And for iron and steel, this temperature will range between 723 degrees C and 912 degrees C. Now that will be dependent on the carbon content of the steel. So pure iron will change from body centre cubic to face centre cubic at 912 degrees C, whereas steel with a carbon content of around 0.8% will change from BCC to FCC at closer to 723 degrees C. And we'll explore that relationship a bit more in a later tutorial. Now the important thing here is, first of all, what happens to the steel, and secondly, how that can help us to create various different engineering components. So if the structure goes from BCC to FCC, we know that it's going to become softer, more malleable, and more ductile. So in actual fact, what it means is we can shape that component. Let's use steel as an example. When steel is face centre cubic, after reaching a temperature of say 900 degrees C, we can shape or form that material. We can use processes such as rolling, bending, and forging to shape that steel component. But the interesting thing about that is once we've created the component we desire in the form that we desire, we can then allow the steel to cool. And when it cools below that threshold temperature, it returns to body centre cubic, so its properties are restored. It goes back to being strong, less malleable and less ductile, and a more rigid component. This is why it's used extensively in structural engineering. We create things such as eye section beams using this process because we're then able to form the component that we desire and then when the component cools, its properties are restored. So just to summarise then, titanium will change from hexagonal close packed to body centre cubic at a temperature of 882 degrees C and iron and steel will change from body centre cubic to face centre cubic at temperatures ranging from 723 to 912 degrees C, depending on the carbon content of the steel. The benefits of this is when the structure changes, its properties change so we can shape or form the material, and then when the component cools, its properties are restored. One other important thing to reiterate before the end of this video is that we don't have a change of state here. We're not going from solid to liquid. We're remaining in the solid state. All that's happening is the structure of that solid is changing as a result of these temperature variations. And in doing so, the properties of the material are also changing.